Alright, so hello one and all, and welcome back to another Danganronpa V3 video. And I know, for those who are wondering, I said that I wouldn't be uploading any more V3 stuff until my Let's Play, which you should check out when September 20, whatever the hell, uh, happens. You should check it out, yeah. But, uh, I said that I wouldn't be posting anymore because I got spoilers, but, eh. I'm going to try to stick to more of these types of topics, uh, if I talk about V3 where it's not too spoilerish if I do get spoiled, because it's only the mono cubs, which I kind of already know a bit about them, so it doesn't really matter too much. But th that saying, do not spoil, still don't, 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 nothing, nothing at all. Anyways, uh, someone suggested for me to do talk about the Warriors of Hope from Dongropa Despair Girls and the Mono Cubs from V3 and saying ha how they're similar uh, appearance wise. But at first, I had doubts about this that it's kind of just there. The, what? That's kind of it. It's just the appearance and nothing else. But I went on to each of their character pages on the wikia and I found out that their personalities are very similar to each other and things that have happened to them and their relationships with each other, it's all notable. I did go on to the uh, Mono Cubs pages uh, on the wiki and I was able to do it without getting spoiled at all. So if you want to go on the pages with spoiler free, Go ahead. I don't know. I don't. I don't know about any of the other character pages, but I do know that those Mono Taros or the uh, the Mono Cubs, anyways, they're safe for spoilers. So for those who haven't played V3, you're kind of safe. But that being said, there are minor, minor spoilers of the uh, Mono Cubs from V3. It's just their personalities and how they interact with each other. It's not. It's nothing too bad. But slightly more spoilers of. Despair Girls, just just slightly, I guess. Yeah. First, I will just be going through all the characters and uh, comparing their appearances with each other. Hi, it's uh, editor from the future, me, Shane. Yeah, I completely forgot to uh, say where this theory is going. Like, what's the end goal? Pretty much, uh, what we're trying to prove here is that they, the the mono, uh, the mono cubs and the warriors of hope are like one in the same, like either the Warriors of Hope are controlling the Mono Cubs, or they got their minds implanted into them, or it's similar to Chaki Nanami, where it's just based on memories, which almost could explain some stuff that I'll be talking about, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in, that it's to say that they're one in the same, kind of, yeah. So first is Masaru and Mono Taro, the two red characters of the groups. So, there's nothing really notable about this, except for that they're, they're both red. They both have a star pin, which Monotaro's the only one to have a star pin. All the groups of the Warriors of Hope all have a little star pin on them, so I don't know if that's anything. So, next up is Nagisa and Mono Kid. So, they're both blue. That's it. Next up is Jotaro and Monosuke, which they're both yellow, and the color pattern of uh, Jotaro's mask and Monosuke's uh, half yellow is very similar, and that's kind of it. Again, like, like I said, there's not much to their appearance except for color. Except, here's where the next two, there's a lot of similarities between the characters. So, Kotoko and Mono Fanny, the pink one. So for appearance, there's a lot. So both of them have stripes on them. With Mono Fanny, it's just her colored side. And then Kotoko, it's her uh, little knee socks or whatever. And then Mono Fanny's bra is the same color as Kotoko's uh, jacket and uh, skirt. They both have a hairpin and they're both pink. So it's just appearance is a lot actually. So at first when comparing Monaka with Mono Dam, I honestly had no real uh, comparison other than they are green. So I will leave it at that for now, but let's get on to their personalities. So first off is Masaru and Mono Taro, going back to the start. So they are both the leader of the group and both somewhat fake leaders. 
Masaru is a f fake leader by rock, paper, scissors because Monica is the true leader. And Monotaro is a somewhat fake leader because Monokuma is the true leader. So kind of stretching it with the both of them being fake leaders, but at the same time, it makes sense. Masaru is playful, naughty, bratty, idiotic, and childish, but he cares for the people he leads. And Monotaro cares a lot about all the members of his group, but can't sidetrack and be clumsy and childish. So they're almost opposites, as Masaru is more childish and a little bit serious, and he takes the role seriously. But Monotaro really takes his role seriously and somewhat a little bit childish. Almost uh, opposites. But speaking of opposites, Nagisa and Mono Kid. At first, I couldn't think of anything similar between them. Until I realized that might just be it. There's nothing similar. Because Nagisa is calm, intelligent, and level-headed. He doesn't like killing, and he really likes Monoka. And Mono Kid has a bad mouth, short temper, a hooligan of the group. He also bullies Monodam, which is the equivalent kind of the doppelganger of Monaka in this theory. So I thought that Nagisa was going to be the odd one of the group, M Nagisa and Mono Kid, but it turns out they're so odd that it makes sense as well because there's not a single thing that's similar against them, w uh, with them. Because there's not a single thing that's similar about them except for their color. But all what that's saying is that they are supposed to be paired up together, I guess, to be compared. So I thought that Nagisa would be like the least important, but in a way it kind of makes sense. It's somewhat one of the more important things of the theory, I guess. And then Jotaro and Monosuke. They are both yellow, and Jotaro is shy, quiet, very intelligent, I believe. And he doesn't, the wiki doesn't mention if he likes killing or not. And he also hates himself. So, then Monosuke, most intelligent of the group, neither mature or docile, has a bad mouth and wants the cubs to be awkward and unsociable. The thing is, the wiki mention doesn't mention if uh, Jotaro likes killing or not, so in a way, it means that he's neither mature nor docile, I guess. You know, similar to Monosuke. Jotaro hates himself, and Monosuke kind of wants the other people of the group to be somewhat not popular, which would mean somewhat almost hated? I don't know, it's kind of a stretch, but in a way, if you can figure out my wording, then it kind of makes sense. So, so far, Jotaro and Monosuke, they're honestly the weakest of the comparisons. They're not amazing, but it still somewhat works. And now the last two, Kotoko and Monaka. Uh, those two comparisons will be very important, actually. So, Kotogo and Mono Fanny, the two pink ones, which have a lot uh, physically uh, about them that are similar. So, Kotogo loves cute things, acts cheerful, polite, and happy. She can be nice, but she can also be very mean and cruel. And after Masaru's death, she seems to be sad, but is actually most likely faking it. Then there's Mono Fanny, similar appearance, like I said. She's kind, feminine, and does not like gore and cruelness. And she'll do cute things like trying to solve the killing game via rock, paper, and scissors. She can be kind, but she can also be mean and crude, and has a ruthless side. She expresses worry towards others, but can also lack compassion. Just all over with this character, they're very similar. They're both, like, cute, kind, and all that. They can be nice, but they can be cruel. And the reason why I mentioned Masaru's death and how she seems to be sad but faking it, it also represents she seems to worry about others but doesn't really mean it, you know? So then Manaka, the leader of the Warriors of Hope and also kind of almost leading despair. So her and Mono Dam. So Manaka was happy and charming but became more like Junko as time went on. She's very good with robots and eventually she grew up to be more cynical, lazy, and not caring, caring about anything, as shown in Danganronpa 3. So then, Mono Dam. He's very quiet and outcast, speaks in a robotic voice, and appears to be motion, emotionless. He startles others due to his usual silence, and he was bullied by Mono Kid, which is said to be why Mono Dam closed his heart 
long ago. So a couple things really stick out here and it's good with robots and previously I excluded Monodam from the comparison for the physical traits but the reason why I did that is because just kinda to put more emphasis on this part because there's something notable about Mono Dam and how he is different from the others. So here are all the Mono Cubs lined up in a row. So some of you may be able to easily figure out uh, what exactly is different about Mono Dam than the rest of them, but honestly, for some reason, I completely overlooked it. I'm not too sure why. But first off, the arms and legs you can see that they're metal and like lined and they're robotic then the head it has a line through it meaning that it's not more humanoid or uh, not humanoid but more realistic I guess than the rest and the top of his head spins probably to open up the brain inside and his ears are flat and apparently they move up and down uh, releasing steam and the green half of his body is larger than the white half. Also, the mouth is squared while everyone else's is rounded. So it's clear that they're trying to emphasize that he is a robot. And sure, the rest of them are as well, but this one is really trying to emphasize it for some reason. Possibly because it's supposed to represent Monaka, the one that built robots, and how she made herself a robot didn't she right yeah that was her but she's good with robots and mono dam is emphasizing to be a robotic even his voice is apparently um robotic and emotionless but the thing is their personalities are very different because monaka is well was happy and charming but became more like junko and then just became lazy and didn't care about anything but mono dam is just pure emotionless pretty much and he closed his heart long ago possibly because of being bullied by his brother mono kid so the only way for this theory to work is to say that v3 is in the future like possibly far into the future even because monaka kind of grew up and became lazy and almost emotionless because she didn't care about anything and mono dam has all those traits of her the, the part of her that grew up. The personalities actually do match with Monaka and Monodam, it just needs for Monaka to grow up a little bit. So those are all the comparisons between the characters, but there's just a couple things that kind of uh, are either just interesting to point out and kind of prove it a little bit more, but or just some things that don't make too much sense. So let's talk about Masaru and Mont Monotaro and Kotoko and Mono Fanny. So, well, mainly Masaru and Kotoko. Masaru was the leader by a rock, paper, scissors game, and most likely Kotoko gave them the idea. I don't know if it's ever said in the game whether or not she gave him the idea to do the rock, paper, scissors to choose the leader, but it's, uh, it's kind of hinted at because Masaru is bragging about how he's the leader, and Kotoko says that he only got it from the position by the rock, paper, scissors game. So, Either that's hinting or she's kind of just doesn't like him. I don't know. It could be both. Mono Fanny thinks that the killing game should be solved by rock, paper, scissors. So both of the pink characters are involved with rock, paper, scissors in, in I wouldn't say in an important way, but in an interesting way. So now, why did Mono Dam close his heart? Well, it says that it's possibly but because uh, he was bullied by his brother, Mono Kid. It would also have to work with Minaka, because remember that Nagisa was the opposite of Mono Kid. So, if we take that reversal and add it to Monaka's, then that would mean that she bullied Nagisa and kind of closed his heart, which is what happened, actually. So that makes sense, but... Monaco wasn't the one that was being reversed, it was only Nagisa, so let's just say that that never happened. No bullying happened between the two, even though it kind of did. But another reason is Mono Dam was bullied by his brother. Monaka was also bullied by her brother and abused when she was very young. And it's said that Mono Dam closed his heart off long ago 
back when Monaco was being beaten by her brother and had suicidal thoughts and possibly that's when she became uh, too like despair I guess that's just a couple things that are either just interesting to note or don't make a hundred percent sense in ways hi back at it again mr. future editor man me here we go so again this theory is uh, pretty much just are they one in the same one and the same I don't know how that saying goes but the, are the warriors of hope controlling the mono cubs or are they like the are their minds implanted into them or are they similar to Chaki and Nami and having an altered kind of based off of memory uh, personality so uh, I, I haven't played uh, despair girls so I don't know exactly how everyone uh, treated each other because uh, it would make sense for Nagisa especially if no one really knew Nagisa then it would make sense or if it's uh, judged by people who aren't in the Warriors of Hope if someone else judged it by their memories of these people and then they were put into the mono cubs I don't know like it lots of different stuff to come out of this but yeah it's pretty much the theory what do you guys think of it at how are they related if they are I mean this video kind of says a lot about it so yeah tell me what do you think of this so that's kind of it for this video I was expecting it to be a five minute video but I've been recording for over 20 minutes now so yeah that's not gonna happen so I do want to say again I haven't played v3 or despair girls so I don't know if any other information can contradicts this one uh, what I've said in the video but I mean, I did my best, right? You, for those who played both the games, I'm I did good, right? <laughs> so I don't want spoilers if this is ever confirmed or not in V3. It doesn't seem like it is because looking on the uh, Warriors of Hope on all their pages, it never says anything about V3. They're only shown in Dongropa Despair Girls and Dongropa Three. Also, the Danganronpa another episode manga, so, yeah. That would also go for being mentioned in another series as well, because they weren't, it, apparently. They don't have anything to do with V3, which could also mean that this theory is just immediately wrong, because nothing is ever said about them, or it means that it's kind of just open for us to decide if it's true or not. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. What do you think of it? and all that stuff. I think I've already said that, I don't know. But anyways, uh, tell me what you think, and I just said that. Uh, give me suggestions on videos to make. I don't have any ideas. Help me, please. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.